What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be looking at the best hack for spying on different Shopify stores. We're going to take a look at different hacks here, taking ideas about traffic, best selling products, what theme they're using. We'll look at a few different hacks here, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify App Store. It's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your business with real-time calculations. There's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. And I'm going to show you a quick video which explains a little more. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Let's dive into our first spy hack here, and that's going to detect the Shopify theme of a store. You may be looking at another Shopify store saying, hey, I really like this theme here, and I want to know what they're using so I can bring it to my own store. They do that is go to a site called Pagefly, and they have a Shopify theme detector right here. They link in the description below to access this page, but all you have to do is hit the URL of a Shopify store. I'm just going to put in the URL of a test store that I built here. It doesn't have to be their .myshopify.com name. It can be any name, including their domain one. But once you hit check, it'll take a few seconds, and then it will tell you what theme it is. My test store is running the debut Shopify theme, so it's 100% accurate. So that's the first hack there. The second one is going to be to find out statistics about the website, how much you're generating in sales, what their audience demographic is like, where their target traffic is coming from by country. This can give you a lot of insights. So if you're targeting a similar audience, you can see what's working for them and try to replicate the same yourself. So we take Raycon here. They're a headphone company and they're a Shopify store. And if we hit search, we get quite a bit of detail on them. We can see the number of employees they're estimated to have their estimated annual revenue, their total visits, their global rank. If we scroll down, the geography and country targeting is super cool. As we can see, most of their targeting comes from the US, but we can see other countries such as Germany, the United Kingdom and Canada and Australia <coughs> are also really popular. So you could target those countries as well. You get an idea of their age distribution for their customers. You can see if we were targeting the same audience, we would probably stick to the 18 to 44 as it seems to drop off quite dramatically after that. We can see we'd also probably be targeting males here as 68% of their audience is male. You also get different interests as well as similar sites. And this can lead you on a little bit of a rabbit hole here as you start taking a look at similar e-commerce stores and getting ideas and finding out more about them. The next hack here is going to be to find out what their best selling products are and all the products they're selling as this will give us an estimation of their sales numbers. So if you're looking at another drop shipping store, you can see what best sellers they have. Although some sites do block this, this will give you a really good idea of what's doing well for them. So you want to copy this URL here. I'll leave this in the description below as well, but it's forward slash collection forward slash all and then you have a question mark so leading to a query here of sort by best selling and so Shopify is going to do this automatically so it's really going to depend if a store has it turned off and so again I'm on a site Raycon Global and I'm going to copy and paste this end here and put it at the end of the dot com just going to hit enter and that's going to show me the collections here sorted by best selling you can see Raycon's best selling product is their everyday earbuds followed by the fitness earbuds and then it slowly trickles down from there. Alternatively, there are paid apps here such as Qualo app, which make it really easy to reveal the secrets behind every Shopify store with one click. You can see what apps they're running, what themes they have, what products do well for them. This is going to give you more detail if you're looking to pay for it. And if you're in drop shipping, you're looking at the spying competitors, it can be a useful way to do so. so this concludes the video here. We looked at different spy hacks for Shopify stores in particular. If you enjoyed these hacks or if you have any more spying tips below, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I would also love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Lastly, I do want to mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a 15-day free trial, and there's a link in the description below to test drive everything for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.